All right. Oh my God. <laughs> There's only like 15 fish in there. That's absurd. So the one, the only thing that's biting is just monsters. Yeah. River rats. Uh, this might be the case of too little, too late. But I showed up, and now DJ and Jesse are going to leave. I see how it is. They, they know I'm going to be bumming all their tackle because I don't have all the crap that I need. <laughs> I got a bunch of one-ounce jigs at home. All right, we're going to try and catch some wipers, I guess. Try. Oh, that sucks. That just happened. Dude just cast this fishing pole into the water. That's gone. That sucks. I hope he gets it back. Did you see the video where I snapped one and a half last fall? On my backswing, at my wall or at my jigging rod, and I was casting catfishing pole. On the backswing, hooked the rod, went to wing it and snapped it right in half. <laughs> I mean it was a cherry wood, so it's not the end of the world. True. If that would have that's why I don't own a G Loomis, I just have the tattoo. He owns the Alright, I'm gonna try and catch one. Big flukes, huh? All right, I'll throw bucktails for a while because that's only one ounces and half ounces I got. I got half ounce jigs and five. I think half ounces is the work. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit talking and try and catch something. Do do? I hope I do too. Oh, dude, you're tearing them up, man. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, he caught a walleye? Yeah. That walleye must have been lost, huh? Throw a one ounce bucktail and see what happens. I have not caught a fish on this fishing rod. I built it this winter just for this. If it'll hit a fluke, they should hit a bucktail. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. Heads up. He's a good one. <laughs> Just a little plunk. Hopefully I can clear the way for everybody here quick. He's not giant. Well, I've never. This is the first fish I've ever hooked on this rod. Yeah, they're getting good ones. It's a nice little tap. He's a good one. Oh yeah, he ain't bad at all. Hey, they'll hit a bucktail, guys. Nice slippery rocks. Come here. Come on. Oh, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked. Come on. Got him. <laughs> that was quick like that a lot yes very nice four or five pound I don't know something wiper all I know is they fight like champions all right keep them low so no one else is seeing and bye I just like the fight man am I gonna get yelled at <laughs> I 
I think I just got hung up on some old fishing line or something. It just felt weird. Still got my jig. If you're wondering about this rod, I built it this winter. It's a medium heavy nine foot surf blank. One to four ounces. Built it for this, but also for like drift fishing for channel casts. We got like 10 pound nano and for main line and then 14 pound fluoro for a liter. It was 3,000 size. Pin Fierce. I'll link down everything but the rod in the, in the description, but works pretty slick. Wing it pretty good. This is just a half ounce. If I bumped up to a one ounce, I'd be able to throw it even further. I'd love to get a 10. I haven't caught a 10 pound wiper in a long time. Give this half ounce some more time. My switched out for a one. It's amazing how these fish just hang out in that super fast water. Ooh, felt something funny. Must have ran into a rock. big as the last one but I think he is the right variety he's fast oh right there <laughs> right there oh man all right What the heck happened? Bent out my hook? Bent out my hook? All right, I'm gonna tie a different one on. Do I have more of these? Yeah. Do you want one? Yeah. I don't care. I don't have very many though. Oh. I made that. Oh, you made it? Yeah. Oh, then I don't need to do that. Right? <laughs> I. I don't have very many heavy ones, man. I have some. I have some at home. You guys can take turns. <laughs> Maybe I have two light of wire hooks for this gear, because this rod puts a lot more heat on them than my other one does, which is great if you need to control a fish until he straightens your hook out. Then it's a problem. I don't know. We'll see. I might have to take that lure back. Yeah. I might have to take that back. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna need that back. I'm just kidding. Nope. Yeah. Oh yeah, they know they're good, man. They're good. Yeah, I'm gonna try something a little different. Yeah, add a little bolt. Got a drastic plastics paddle tail. I'll try this one for a little bit, and then if that don't work, then we're gonna switch to Chartreuse. Yeah, just you know, add something, just something different. I feel like I'm striper fishing right now, buck hair and plastic. Watch me get freaking crushed. I hope so. It's a lot of bulk. A lot of stuff flying through the air. A lot of stuff flowing through the water. Paddle tail kicking, hair flicking around. 
If I get a bite, I better smoke you. A lot of stuff in the fish's mouth. He tagged it. He smoked it. He's not a small one. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. Big one. Not much I can do right now. Hang on, I guess, huh? Now I'm worried in the back of my mind about the hook bending out like the other one did. My heart's racing. That was a good run. And I feel like he's about ready to give me another. Oh, I head shakes, big surge. Now he's just staying heavy. I'll just keep pressure on him, I guess. This is not a baby. Now I'm getting some line back. Now he's moving. That would be much appreciated, sir. Tell you what, the first thing I'm doing is ordering some heavier wire hooks. He's getting closer. Oh, not a tiny one. Big one. Such a fine balance because I've never fished this rod before. All right, where's he at? He's close. There, he's freaking out because he saw the rocks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Oh! <laughs> He's going the wrong direction, huh? He is strong, bud. Oh, yes. Yes. That's a good one. Come here. Oh, now he's coming back to where you were. <laughs> All right. I just don't want to bend my hook out. Oh my god. Yes, that's that's a stud. Right there. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, buddy. Oh, oh thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> I knew Whoa. I knew he was good when I couldn't turn him, even on this gear. Yeah. That was a pretty epic fight, too. The hook started to bend out. Definitely going to get heavier wire hooks. Look at that thing right there. Yeah. I am stoked. I am absolutely stoked. Oh, buddy. All right. Okay. Au revoir. Slob. I'm pretty excited about that one. <laughs> that is 
Yes. All right. It's time to start piecing my life back together. Just for the record, I have caught my fair share of hybrids. I know how hard they pull, and I know I should have heavy wire hooks, but I'm used to catching them on gear that doesn't pull back quite as hard as this does. This surf rod that I made. So you don't feel like you're putting that much heat on them, but the longer rod puts way more torque on them than you think. So for my conventional, normal stuff, yeah, that'll work great. For this, I'm gonna need something with some beefier hooks than that. Six pound line normally, yeah, works great. 14, different ball game. But he plucked it, so I'm pretty happy about that. All right, another one, that would be cool. More bulk, more better. He doesn't feel like a jumbo. Just an excited one. Ugh. Big head shake, so. Now he's just getting, just bulldogging. Mm. I suppose I should pack a line on when I get the chance. In case, not bad. He's a good one, I think. That was nice, I was falling asleep. Oh, what's he doing now? Running to the bank? Running right in front of that guy? He's pretty much literally on the bank right in front of that guy. Yeah, he's spirited. He's right in front of you. Oh, now he's coming back out. I'll meet you. He's getting better, just no big run. Yeah, he ain't bad. He ain't bad at all. Big old head shakes, too. Oh, they're just spazzes, they're all over the place. That'll work. On the hair. The deer hair. All right, bringing them to you. Thank you. What's that? Take your back again? Yep. All right. Easy. Ugh. Nice little tap on the line and set the hook into that thing. He didn't feel that big at first, just throwing me big head shakes. He never did do a big run, which is okay. That's probably, I mean, that's one of the best parts about them when they hit it and just smoke it. But you can't always get what you want, but I'm pretty happy to get this guy. Oogie, get 20 pounds. That'd be pretty cool. The hook actually held up pretty decent on that one. Can't complain there. But I back the drag way down and I'm not gonna bump it up even though I really want to really bad. Okay, another one would be cool. Ooh, I like where that ended up. But I've liked where about the last 25 casts have ended up and when I'm not paying attention, Oop. There he is, he plowed it. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, big head shakes. Hey, heads up, hold up. He's running, he's running down. Sorry.
He's a nice one. Yeah, he throttled it. No doubter, made the rod bounce. Come on. Now he's starting to go offshore. <laughs> Come on. Another. Another nice one. There he's giving up a little bit for the moment. So tense. For real though, like not even a joke. Like, I don't trust these hooks. He's slowly coming in. Pretty good. So far I love this fishing rod though. Where's he at? Yeah, he's a nice one. He fought, I mean, they all fight hard, but he fought really hard. Yeah, it's like in his throat. Oh, thrashing around. Oh, man. I love these things. <laughs> People are tired of helping me. <laughs> Come here. Wow, that is gonzo, gonzo. Oh, easy. Nice slickery rocks. All right, made it. Yeah, look where that jig is. <laughs> oh man, never gets old. The day it gets old will be the day I'm dead. He was hooked amazingly well. <laughs> You can get by with pliers, but these toothpicks are really awesome for this. No, I'm not sponsored by them. No, I don't need to be sponsored by them. Because they're like six bucks. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, he just hooks super awkwardly. How about that one? Just another toad. Just another freaking nice fish. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna let him go and try and get another one. Why not? Okay, bye. After that, fish hook that deep, you gotta check your leader, see if it's scuffed up. Because although they don't have teeth or anything, they do have abrasive mouths. Oh yeah, he braided it pretty good. And that's why you check your leaders. Oh. Maybe tomorrow, huh? Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's my lucky day so far, I guess. He plowed it too. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm going to get out of everybody's way this time. Huh? You sure? I was going to get out of your way so you can fish. I thought he was bigger. He might change his mind, I guess. Hey. No. Yeah. I'd... Come here. Yeah. Well, these waves were ill-timed. Anyway, I feel a little cramped for some reason. Not sure why. But uh, yeah, back to back casts. Got to be happy about that. Um, <laughs> I'm going to let him go. Just like that, I'm out of one ounce bucktails. So now we get to be creative. Before we get before we get too creative, we'll uh, we'll see if a half ounce will work. Big old fluke or maybe a paddle tail. Well, 
Last cast, I think. Burned through all my one ounce bucktails and no more fish. So. River Rats, I'm ending a little earlier than I normally would. I'm waking up at four in the morning. I want to be well rested to talk trash to my old man while we're turkey hunting. That's a very important part of turkey hunting. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed seeing those big hybrids. I love catching them. They're an absolute blast. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Hope you catch a giant.